Um, well, it's a long time coming. Uh, when Hal and I have just been jamming for fun for many, many years. Um, when Hal's taught me all about jazz. I think I met you through Learning Night. I don't know, five years ago? Ish? Wow. Longer than that? And so he came to this first Learning Night. So Learning Night is kind of like informal TED Talks um, amongst friends, for those of you who don't know. And when Hal came and he taught everybody about jazz, and then he did an improv song about his love for sushi. <laughs> Which maybe you can do later for everyone too. <laughs> and I feel like the story gets changed a lot, but it's one small part of it. <laughs> anyway, it blew me away. It blew everyone else away. And then I started poking him to like teach me more about jazz. And he'd come over and like teach me jazz chords and then introduce me to jazz songs and got me more comfortable singing. So anyway, it's kind of um, yeah, I guess this concert is an evolution of all of that. It's really nice to share our favorite songs with all of you today. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I'm going to get started with a solo tune. Um, one of my favorite tunes from the pianist Bill Evans called Nardis. And, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a melancholy tune, but it's, some, it's a tune that is played in many different ways, especially along the 15 or years of so. Um, I'd like to share you my rendition of Nardis.
Starting on the bus off a bit too strong, but thank you. <laughs>
we're going to head into our next classic jazz song um, to continue the astronomy theme of <laughs> stars and flying. Uh, this one's made popular by Frank Sinatra called Fly You to the Moon.
professional friends, as you know, Lynn Howe is one of them. Big hand for Lynn Howe! Call himself a jazz. You call yourself more of a jazz percussionist, right? Drummer. drummer sorry, drummer. Drummer, drummer pianist. <laughs> so he's going to show off his uh, drumming skills on the box shortly. Um, <laughs> but the 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 main the highlight of this next song will be Aichi. Yeah. Hello. Feel, I'm feeling super blessed to be here. Uh, I don't, honestly, I don't even know I'm here. I, I just know that I was uh, on Facebook a few months ago, and I always casually stalk Jess because she posts, you know, artsy things all the time. She posts like drawings and stuff. And then I saw that she had gotten engaged, and I was like, oh my god, congrats! I haven't spoken to you in seven years, and now I'm here. So. Uh, <laughs> This song is a song I wrote a couple months ago. There's no honey in it. Nice. Um, what? Yeah, so the story behind this song is I was in Montreal last year for a month, and I met someone on Tinder, as you would. And um, seven days after our first date, I got bed books at my place. And so I moved into her house, as one would. Yes. So the relationship did not last. Uh, <laughs> because of the um, bad bites. <laughs> 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 you should have read the bad Yeah, but I, I got a song out of it, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> So contagious. <laughs> I'm a comedian, that's why. <laughs> okay, so this one's called. Um, Can everybody hear? Yes. Yeah.
very special song. Um, hmm. So this is a song that I wrote. And <laughs> my uh, very first single, very first song, and I'm so grateful that just to <laughs> help me birth this, you're essentially the midwife of this song. Oh, <laughs> so grateful. <laughs> Um, let's see the story behind this. Oh, there's, there's a man. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, so, uh, I um, was inspired. Um, oh, a man essentially was my muse for the song. Uh, <laughs> we, so the first, um, the first week he moved into my place, um, I also was decided to say yes to pet sitting my neighbor's cat. Uh, who's the most adorable cat. His name is, you know, Torty is really round and sit like a human. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, I'll, I'll share pictures later. <laughs> um, and then, unfortunately, we found, a, you know, it's about two days in that Amanda um, is seriously, almost deathly allergic to cats. <laughs> so he woke up with hives all over his body. And was uh, you know not not doing so great and um, had to go to the hospital and they had to give him an EpiPen and so it was pretty bad um, so we didn't really get a chance to see each other for a while while he was recovering from all of that and um, and it was really painful and it was really really hard to well I mean it was the most hard for you and it was also very hard for me to watch you go through hard things. Um, but it inspired us all. I was in the shower and I was feeling kind of sad for him and kind of like mopey. And then this, the melody of the song came and it, it wouldn't leave. And I just ran to the keyboard and started playing around. And then I sent it to him. He's like, oh, this is pretty good. <laughs> and then I shared it with Jess and she was like, this needs to be a full song. <laughs> um, so it took several months. Um, but, you know. Oh, I, I, I couldn't have done this without you. were so, so I beautiful. didn't do anything, Jess. It was literally all you, and I continued. I always get more and more inspired by the things that you do, like the, the way that you can bring all these wonderful people together um, as a special community, and the way you're creative, and, and your, uh, your visual arts, or your writing, and now you're singing too, so it's so amazing that you're sharing your, your talents and, and your gift with us. So thank you, Jess. And also, you're amazing, so. <laughs> um, yeah, so she helped me kind of, so, so in the actual single, she used the, the piano in the background and also the harmony vocals. And this is our first time playing this live. Actually, this the actual second time we were playing it like ever. Like we yeah. just practiced this like before. On Zoom. Like, on, oh yeah, on Zoom. <laughs> and then half an hour before this started. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it's going to go well. Um, and was there anything else? No, I guess we should just play the song. What's yeah. What's oh. the song called? Oh, it's called Worth All the Years. Is it on streaming platforms? It is. It's just on all the streaming platforms. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sleep okay? I wish that I 
rocks by the sea. to put on this very ambitious Christmas medley, all in one go. Uh, <laughs> how long did it take you? How many takes? Uh, like, more than 15. <laughs> 15 takes on his, and he recorded his separately. I did mine in my room also a bunch of times. We were so tired. So there's a video of us. We don't look very happy. Well, <laughs> I have to fake it. <laughs> Hopefully it's easier live. Who knows? <laughs> we can wing it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so here are a bunch of our favorite holiday songs.